Hello, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to tell you how to obtain free and proprietary versions of QoT plot. And especially, I'm going to tell you what alternatives there are to QoT plot. So let's get started. First, what is QoT plot? The first place you want to go to know is to go to Google and type in QoT plot. If your setting is same like mine, you're going to have these four options coming up. They show you a commercial version of QT plot, an unofficial version, and here the QT plot Wikipedia. If we go to the Wikipedia page, we'll notice that QT plot is a cross platform computer program for interactive graphing and data analysis, similar to Origin and Sigma plot. And if we go further to alternatives, we will see that some alternatives would include Cy Davis which is a fork from Qt plot, lab plot, and many others. The interesting thing is that these are origin software or alternatives and clones. Especially Qt plot and Cy Davis and lab plot will be origin clones. So let's have a look at some of the clones. We have Cy Davis, and here you can see a little bit of the gallery. If we go to lab plot. You see it's gallery, it's still populating, but has some nice figures. And if we go to the commercial version of QT plot and we go down to visit gallery, we're going to see awesome plots that can be generated by the program. And finally, if we go to origin lab and just put on the page, we're going to see a lot of awesome plots. The nice thing about all of this is that they look pretty much similar. So you can use any of these programs or their alternatives for graphing and computing. On the page of Origin, you have the possibility of trying it for free. Another way of trying out if such a platform or its clones is something for you or your lab before you get to buy any of them is to try any of the alternatives, especially those that are free. Then you can decide to buy. If we go again to the Wikipedia page, we'll see that older QT plot versions up to 0.9.8.9 were released under a GNU general public license and are still available as binaries for Linux distributions and repositories, as well as for Windows. However, starting from version 0.99, the source code is not available from the author anymore. And those higher versions are the ones that are found on this page. So for the sake of this video, we are going to obtain a lower version of Qt plot. To do that, you go to this link after Googling and you select it. And you have this page which you can read and it basically will tell you how to compile your own version for Qt plot. But for those of us who are not very computer savvy, there are versions here which you can download in a folder. If we look at this table, we'll see the build that has been compiled for us, the source, and we're going to see notes that have been made here. So if I go down, I'll see different versions like 0 0.9.78, and here I'll see all of the things that are supported in this version. If we go even higher, we'll have this version, and we notice that all of the features are supported. So for the tutorials you'll see later on on Qt plot, you could download this version by going here, selecting to click, and you have this zip file that is going to open up, and then you click OK. And when it is opened, you pull up the folder to your desktop or anywhere of your choice. You let it copy, and here it's copying 809 items. And when it is complete, you now have the folder on your desktop. If you double click on it, you're going to see that you have lots of different files. And the file you're targeting, which you have to use later on, is this one. With this folder on your desktop, what you can do is to right click and then go send to and you select desktop. You then are going to have a shortcut icon for accessing QT plot. And if you double click this, 
a QRT plot window will open and asking you to make a donation. You can make a donation if it is your wish. Each time you start it, you're going to see this. But you can just go ahead and close and you'll have a window from which you start to do your data analysis and computing. And here you can add many more columns or you can also click here and add many more rows. This folder here may be on your way and what you may typically want to do is to copy this folder into your program folder. And to access your program folder, you go to C. Here I have Windows C and here I have users and I have the possibility of choosing program files here or here. And here is a folder of QT plot I've brought into my program files x86. And if you open it, you're still going to see the same files we had. And this is the icon which I pushed to the desktop here. Congratulations, you've installed a new version of QT plot. You can now go ahead and begin to do awesome plots as found in the galleries which we see here. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit the next videos that show you how to use QT plot. See you in the next video.